Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview, AMD CEO Lisa Su and our own Christina Parts and Evelis. Christina, take it away. Thank you, Morgan, and thank you, Lisa. Congratulations on today's event. There really was a crowd. You saw the excitement when you mentioned AI. You had everybody lean forward and snap some photos, and you said, I love this chip. And you also said, we love this chip. But you said, I love this chip. And you were referring to the next generation GPU. Can you just elaborate on why, why this chip is so important in this period of time and the whole sampling thing, only in Q3? So is that a little slow? Tell me about that. Oh, well, look, Christina, first of all, thank you for being here. Um, it's in been person, a right? Yes, it's been a tremendous day for us. Um, we're super excited. Uh, with um, all that we talked about for data center and AI. And look, as you said, I mean, AI is the defining megatrend for technology right now. Like, everybody's talking about AI. We've been working on um, this roadmap for many, many years. You know, MI300 is our newest generation chip. And, um, you know, frankly, it's incredible. I mean, the amount of technology we have on this, 153 billion transistors. Um, it's really designed, you know, everybody's talking about chat GPT and large language models. MI300 is actually designed exactly for this use case. And so we're really, really excited about it. Uh, we've been uh, really, you know, customers are super excited about it and, you know, we're working closely with them. Uh, we will sample um, in the third quarter and we'll be in production by the end of the year. Who is them? <laughs> well, you well, said it, so. Well, first of all, we had a number of partners here today. You I know, saw, I know. We some saw of AWS, our largest, Meta, that's right. Citadel. There's a list of VPs here. But who are your customers for that particular chip? What we see is there's a tremendous demand for GPUs in AI space for both training and inference. Um, we work with all of the largest uh, cloud manufacturers as well as many of the largest enterprise guys. And so, you know, the key is let's get these products to market as fast as possible. Um, we're actually a very differentiated, uh, Christina. So when you think about what you need on this, not only do you need a lot of computing, but you also need a lot of memory and a lot of memory bandwidth. And that's what MI300X does. It actually brings best in class. So best in class um, right. capability for um, inference of large language models. And everybody wants more GPUs. Everyone wants more GPUs. And this is, and you won't tell me the name of the, of the, of the customers. That's okay. But for the total addressable market, I, that's impressive. You said it's 30 billion right now in 2023. You plan to grow that to beyond 150 billion. It's, um, wow. it's really a incredible time for technology. And what we've seen is, and you know, we've all seen it, right? So the AI has now kind of changed the way we perceive um, what we're doing in every industry, in every market, for all of our productivity and business applications. So yes, today uh, we believe it's about a you know, 30 billion-ish uh, dollar market, and we think it's gonna grow over the next three or four years, more than 50% a year. So you know, we see like $150 billion by the time we get to 2027 for just this four incredible years. technology. Right. Yes. Right, uh, and I know, we, I wanna bring in Morgan and John too just with for this conversation. Hey Lisa, it's John Ford, good to it. see you. Yeah. Uh, tell us more about your AI software strategy because the right software tools kind of accelerate demand, make your chips easier for developers to work with. What's gonna make your strategy different? When can we expect to hear more about it? Are you gonna acquire on your way there? Well, John, first of all, great to talk to you again, always. And you're absolutely right. I think as important as AI hardware is truly the AI software ecosystem. And we had um, some great partners on stage with us today. So we had um, you know, the founder of PyTorch. We had the CEO of Hugging Face, uh, who was really working on some of the largest language models. And what we see is you know, the world for software is really about, number one, we've developed a really comprehensive um, software capability that's optimized for our hardware. We call that the ecosystem, but on top of that, we have um, all of these folks in the market really developing these frameworks, and the, the purpose of these frameworks is actually to make it fairly easy and transparent to move between different hardware ecosystems. And then there are lots and lots of open source folks developing um, the models on top of that. So when you see all these pieces, um, we think it's a fantastic time to really bring the ecosystem together. We've, we've put thousands and thousands of engineers um, on our AI software, and uh, we have a great overall ecosystem um, that is uh, really coming to life right now because we're all trying to get AI deployed as fast as possible.